FCV, is unique in providing a stable gas flow during both inspiration and expiration, aiming to create linear increases and decreases in intratracheal pressure. FCV uses constant and relatively low flow rates during both inspiration and expiration without pauses, leading to linear changes in both volume and pressure. There are no abrupt intrathoracic pressure drops because of the controlled expiration. FCV results in smooth tidal movements of the diaphragm and thoracic wall with reduced application of mechanical power and less energy dissipation in the lungs. Conventional ventilation uses relatively high gas flows, requiring high pressure to reach obstructive lung parts. With FCV, lower flows are used that range typically between 8 and 16 litres per minute to adequately ventilate a patient. At lower flows, gas is better able to reach the lung units that have higher resistance and the dependent lung parts that have a better perfusion. A passive expiration results in an abrupt deflation, especially in the low compliant lung units. By controlling the expiration flow, FCV maintains airway pressure and keeps gas flowing in the alveoli longer. Thus, FCV can avoid or delay airway and alveolar collapse and thereby avoid atelectasis while improving gas exchange. These properties of FCV have been demonstrated in multiple scientific studies. In comparison to VCV, FCV showed better aeration and less atelectasis in healthy lungs. Similar results were observed when FCV was compared to pressure-controlled ventilation in healthy lungs after 10 hours of mechanical ventilation. Also, in experimental ARDS, dependent lung parts were better aerated. A more efficient ventilation, requiring less minute volume to maintain normocapnia, was consistently observed. Additionally, histology revealed less inflammation and thinner alveolar walls with FCV. FCV can be applied using Evone via any conventional endotracheal tube or ultra-thin tritube.